Today we're showing you our top 10 things to do in Kyoto, Japan. From ancient temples to modern nights, from onsen soaks to samurai museums, Kyoto's got a bit of everything. Be sure to stick around till the end because our number one pick is a never before seen YouTube exclusive. Number 10. Toji Temple. Kick off your Kyoto sightseeing at Toji Temple. This place is ancient. We're talking 8th century. So this is from 1644. It was then destroyed three times before. Actually, fifth tower. So this is fifth tower bell. If you think about it, it's from 1644, which is like a modern version of this pagoda. <laughs> it's fifth version. Stroll around, check out Japan's tallest wooden tower, and just soak in those peaceful vibes. Visiting the whole compound will take you about two hours. The ticket price was 500 yen, but keep in mind that the ticket prices actually change depending on the time of the year. So just double check before you go. Toji Temple is definitely worth seeing, and if you happen to visit on the 21st of the month, make sure you check out the flea market next door. Right next to Toji Temple, there's this little flea market slash garage sale where it seems like all local people come here and they sell stuff that they probably have at home and they want to get rid of and can be useful for somebody else. All kinds of cool stuff. Pretty cool. I love it. Number nine, Hokanji Temple. The iconic Hokanji Temple, known for its five-story pagoda that beautifully punctuates Kyoto's skyline. Here is where history and beauty merge, offering a glimpse into the city's past and breathtaking views of the surrounding area. So we found the shot, but of course, there's people here. <laughs> there's like six photographers. I know, everybody's here. Number eight, Gion. As evening hits, wander through Gion, Kyoto's famous geisha district. Stroll down Sanizaka and Nainizaka, where you'll feel like you've time traveled. There's no one here. We're the only ones walking around. All the videos and photos you see online about this place, it's always packed with people. I don't know if it's the time of the year, time of the day, but there's no one else. And there hasn't been anybody else for the last five minutes. Keep an eye out for geishas and soak in the old world charm of the streets. If you're seeing one place in Kyoto, this is it. Number seven, Yasaka Shrine. This vibrant, colorful place is perfect for some relaxed and peaceful time. This shrine is a place of worship and celebration and is located right in the heart of the city. Number six, explore the bamboo forest. The bamboo forest is cool and definitely a must see. But make sure you get there early, otherwise the only thing you'll see is a bunch of people trying to take pictures for their Instagram page. It's like a cathedral, cathedral in the forest. 6.50 and it's already a bunch of people here. A lot of times there's a lot of stupid people who come to beautiful places like this and do stupid things like this. So Victor, if you're watching, you're an asshole. The bamboo forest. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. If you're limited on time and you have to choose either seeing the bamboo forest or something else, maybe see something else. I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. But if you need to skip something, maybe skip this. It depends what you want to see. I think it's beautiful, but I tend to gravitate more towards nature. But it's very peaceful, it feels like a cathedral of a nature, so I think it's worth it. Our advice is to venture out a little further Trust me on this one, you will not be disappointed. There's a two minute walk to this beautiful little street and a lake. It's like literally two minutes from the bamboo forest. It just seems like it's almost better than the bamboo forest. There's not a lot of people and it's beautiful. Whoa, that's a big bee. I saw the nest over there. Well, maybe that's why they don't come here. Oh, maybe we made the worst mistake of our life. Okay, let's get the hell out. I never thought about Kyoto having this beautiful lush forest, almost like a jungle on the outskirts, but it definitely does. This is great, great spot to start hikes. Maybe next time we can try some of these hikes. Maybe not at this time of the year, because I'm sweating, look. <laughs> this is like the theme of all these Japan series, me sweating throughout. This is Ogenchi Garden in Kyoto. It surrounds the famous Tenryuji Temple. The garden is a world heritage site with over 700 years of history. Seems like we're the first ones here. So, so far we have these gardens just for the two of us. Picture this, you're walking into a garden designed way back in the 14th century. 
It's like stepping into a living piece of art. The garden has a central pond surrounded by rocks and pine trees, and it perfectly mirrors the mountains around. Chica gets emotional when she sees beautiful things and this is definitely beautiful. Something interesting here is the borrowed scenery theme. The garden blends with the mountains and trees in the distance, making everything feel larger and more connected. It's like you're part of this huge natural painting. Number 5. Chilling with cats at a cat cafe. Need a dose of cuteness? A cat cafe is where it's at. Grab a coffee hang out with some adorable cats, and just relax. This is such a weird concept, but it's kinda cool. Oh, there's a tiny one over there. It's kinda like the perfect little break between all the other cool stuff that you're gonna do in Kyoto. What did you say? It's going to be good for the soul? Say, let's go pet some cats, it's gonna be good for the soul. I agree with that. Just be aware, these cats are kind of gold diggers. They seem to be super nice and loving, but once you're done with treats, they're gone. As long as you're out of trees, they really don't care about you. <laughs> they are gold diggers, these cats. That's what they are. Treat diggers. Treat diggers. <laughs> Number four, spend a night at an onsen hotel. If you come to Japan, you have to stay at least one night at an onsen hotel. It's kind of the perfect blend between luxury and tradition. Wow, it feels like we just got into somebody's home. So this place is super awesome. Look, look. What? Tea set. I'm gonna give you guys a super quick tour. Beds, chairs, TV, tea set. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Sink. Sink take two. Toilet. Thank you, Japan, for taking care of our booties. Sink. Shower. We're ready, everybody. Actually, not 100% ready. Although for us, the water was way too hot, so we were not able to actually sit down and relax for a long time. But it was still very nice and we'll probably try it again at a different place in the future. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot, that's hot. Number three, Kyoto after dark. Kyoto is not just about daytime fine and sightseeing. When night falls, the city lights up. Wander around, find a cozy little restaurant, and dive into some amazing local food. Thank you, Thank you. Ah, very hot. Very hot. Oh, very okay, okay. Hot. <laughs> very hot. Thank you. Spicy food. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Oh, that looks thank amazing. You. It really is the best way to experience Kyoto by night. Number two, the Samurai and Ninja Museum. This was a big surprise for us. From the outside, this place doesn't really look like much, but once you get inside, things get much better. Ready? Ready. <laughs> well, ninja throw it like that, so the enemy is gonna be like, where does sound come from? So the ninja can get away more safely. I could have done better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we started with a ninja experience where you are taught how to throw a ninja star. The whole thing seems a little gimmicky and smells like a tourist trap, but it's actually a lot of fun. You guys are getting taught how to become a ninja by samurai. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, was it at the same time? Okay, let's do it at the same time. Okay. I don't know, what do you want us to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it together. Do it together, okay. Alright, ready? One, two, three. Damn it! Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, this is two point, and this is also two point, but this is a little bit closer to the bullseye. Yeah, right. but I was going for this one. <laughs> <laughs> for the competition, we're gonna have two throws. And then we're gonna compete with total score, so please remember score. And if you get us this circle, that's two point. If you get us this circle, that's three point. This circle, five point. If you get a bullseye right in the middle, that's ten points. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, aim for the bullseye. One, two, three. Oh no! Oh, crap. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Oh! oh. oh. Okay. 
So we have three point and one point. So since he got the higher points, he's gonna be the winner. So congratulations. Ooh. You can bring it home with you. And congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Then you move on to the museum exhibition. And this was super cool. The guys were super knowledgeable, entertaining, and funny. We had a great time and we 100% recommend it. That was super cool. We just got out of the Samurai Museum and it was a lot of fun. Our guides were very funny and informative and it just it opened the whole new level of knowledge for me. I learned so much. And number one is enjoying a traditional testing menu. This is probably gonna be the best way for you to wrap up your Kyoto trip. It's, it's local, it's the bread here. It's from this area. Oh, it's really good. Mm, that's delicious. It's like a flavor-packed journey through Japan's culinary awesomeness. Everybody was like a whole new experience. Nishiki's main dish is dish. Oh my god. That's art. This is number four. Number four. And this is number five. Number five. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. We found this restaurant just by chance and the experience was unreal. The service was amazing, they made us feel super welcome and our waitress was one of the nicest people we met in Japan. And the food was so good. Just to give you some context, I do not like tofu. However, the tofu at this restaurant was amazing. Antonio tofu tofu Antonio. I love this one. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. In the words of the great Anthony Bourdain, food is everything we are. It's an extension of nationalist feeling, ethnic feeling, your personal history, your province, your region, your tribe, your grandma. It's inseparable from those from the get-go. So if you really want to see Kyoto, eat its food. We just had the most amazing meal it wasn't a meal, it was experience. It was kind of like a tasting Japanese menu that we've never had before. I was excited from A to Z. <laughs> I'm full. All of these little tiny bites. That was so good. I'm so satisfied. Kyoto, you're yummy. Kyoto, we love you.